Today, we are learning how to port forward your Minecraft server. If you want people to join your Minecraft server who aren't within your home network, you will have to port forward. If you don't want to do this, you will have to use a Minecraft server host. I personally recommend Bloomhost. They are very affordable and they use Ryzen 9 processors which are much faster than other processors Minecraft hosts use. By default, your computer and router's firewall will block most incoming traffic from the internet. This is why, when your friends try connect to your server, it gives them an error, as the router does not let them through. In this tutorial, we are going to be telling our computer and router that any traffic coming from the specified Minecraft port is allowed through. The first thing we have to do is check what port your Minecraft server is running on. To do this, simply head to the folder that your Minecraft server is located in. Mine is on my desktop. If you haven't made your Minecraft server yet, I have a dedicated tutorial for this. It will be linked in the description. But once you're here, head to the server.properties file. You're going to want to open this in Notepad or any other text editor. Once it's open, we want to find the port your Minecraft server is running on. As you can see, my Minecraft server is running on the port 25565. This is the default Minecraft port, so it's likely that your server is running on it too. If it's different, don't worry. However, you're going to have to enter different numbers throughout the tutorial. I'm now just going to copy the server port by right clicking and pressing copy. We're going to have to use this number a lot throughout this video. Before we get to port forwarding, we need to let the traffic through our computer's firewall. To enter your Windows firewall, just hit the start button and type firewall and hit enter. If you see a yellow message here saying your settings are managed by a vendor application, you need to allow it through the firewall over there. There are hundreds of different firewall softwares, so I recommend googling how to let a port through your firewall for your specific antivirus software, and skip ahead to the port forwarding section of this tutorial. To let the port through the firewall, we want to head to advanced settings on the left hand side. We need to let your Minecraft port, for me this is 25565, through TCP and UDP for inbound and outbound rules. What we want to do is head to the left hand side where it says inbound rules and just left click here. We now want to add a new rule, so just left click here. Firstly click port, next, and we want this rule to apply for TCP and we need to specify which port we're using. I'm just going to copy and paste using Control v here. This is the port we got earlier. Press next. We want to allow the connection, and we want to check all three of these. You can call this whatever you want, but I'm just going to call this Minecraft, and press finish. We want to now do this again, so simply press new rule. We want to allow through a port. However, this time we want to press UDP. This is the other protocol we have to use. And once again, just copy and paste 25565 or your Minecraft port. We want to allow the connection, and we want all three of these checked. I'm just going to call this Minecraft again. Don't worry, you can name multiple things at the same time. Now we've done the inbound rules, we want to do the same for the outbound rules. So just press here, new rule, port, next, TCP, 25565, next, allow the connection, next, all three, next, and just call it Minecraft. Finish. One more time. New real port UDP 25565. Next. Allow the connection. Next. All three. Next. And just call it Minecraft. Now we've let the Minecraft port through our Windows firewall, let's get on to the port forwarding. Now we've let your Minecraft port through your Windows firewall, we need to port forward. Firstly, you need to log into your router. Now, this is going to be different for every router, so you can find the website to connect to and the username and password on the back or bottom of your router. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a router simulator. Since I can't possibly make a port forwarding tutorial for every single router, you're going to have to roughly follow along. But don't worry, I'm going to be telling you what you have to look for, so you can do this for your own router. We need to find the port forwarding section. Generally, this is under the advanced setting. Once you're here, you want to look around for something to do with port forwarding or forwarding, etc. On this router, it's under NAT forwarding. Once I press that, I can simply go to the port forwarding section. As you can see, there are already some ports here. This may be different on your router, but I'm going to press the add button. Once you're in this section to adding a port forwarding entry, there's going to be a couple things you have to add. The service name, device IP address, the external port, the internal port, and the protocol. Let's get started by adding our service name. You want to name this something that you're going to recognize in the future, 
So I'm just going to call this Minecraft. And I'm going to put 25565. So when I'm looking at this in the future, I know what port this is referencing. We next need to enter the device IP address. So this is going to be the IPv4 address of the computer hosting the Minecraft server. To find the IPv4 address of the computer hosting the Minecraft server, we need to head onto the computer and open command prompt. You can do this by hitting the start key, typing cmd, and pressing enter. Once we're here, we simply want to type ipconfig and hit enter. Now you've hit enter, this might seem a little daunting, but don't worry, we're simply looking for the IPv4 address. As you can see, for me, it's 192.168.1.139. So I'm just going to copy paste this with control C, and then I'm going to head back to the router. Now we're here again, I'm going to copy and paste the IPv4 back in. Now we need to enter the external port and the internal port. So for me, it's 25565. It might be different for you. Make sure to use the port you found earlier in the video in the server.properties file. Next, we want to put in the internal port. So once again, this is just 25565. Do note that your router might ask for a range of ports. So if that was the case, you would simply type 25565, 25565 and specify that the range is just one number. However, on this router it isn't the case, so I'm just going to write 25565. The last thing we want to do is pick the protocol. We want to do TCP and UDP. So on this router it's called all. However, on your router it might be TCP slash UDP, or there might only be one. If your router only allows you to pick TCP or UDP, don't worry, all you have to do is the first time pick TCP, save, and then add a new port forwarding entry and repeat the process except pick UDP that time. This router lets me pick all, so I'm just going to do that. As you can see, I've successfully port forwarded. Before you head off your router, you want to make sure that the new entry you've made is enabled. As you can see, for me, the status is checked. For you, it might be slightly different naming, however, it is usually a checkbox. Now you've successfully port forwarded, you just need to find the IP address to send to your friends. If your friends are not on your home network, you can't send them the IPv4 address we used earlier. To find your public IP address, all we want to do is head to Google or any other search browser and type, what is my IP? As you can see, here is my IP address. However, I have blurred it as I do not want to disclose it to the public. Definitely be careful on who you give your IP address to. I would only give it to people you trust to go to your house in real life. If you don't want to give people your public IP address, you're going to have to get someone else to host it for you. That's why I personally recommend Bloomhost. I'll have a link for them in the description. The last thing you need to do is finally connect to your server. If you want to connect to the server on the computer that is hosting the server, all you have to do is type localhost, pull on, and along with the port that you're hosting it for. So I did 25565. Although, just so you know, if it is the default port 25565, you don't actually have to enter it. However, say if your port was 23456, you'd have to enter that manually. Now, for everyone else, you simply want to use the public IP address we found earlier. Here is a random IP address as an example, and once again, if you're using the default port, you don't have to enter anything else. However, if you're using a different port, you're going to have to type that manually. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you had any issues, be sure to comment down below. I'm sure someone will help you there. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.